Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks bringing you the Daily Spy Report for Monday, January 10th, 2022. Before I jump into the charts, please click like each and every time you watch the Daily Spy Report. It does help me out a great deal with regard to search engine results and I do appreciate it. And also subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the Wicked Sox YouTube channel that will provide you notification each and every time new content has been uploaded, including the Daily Spy Report, the Daily Triple Q, the Weekly DIA, the Weekly IWM. Next week we start the Weekly Bitcoin, so forth and so on. The sooner you know about this, the more relevant the material. Let's jump into the charts for today. Uh, this is sort of the um, a snapshot that says a lot. You know, um, last week, Wednesday, we settled below that short-term channel bottom after having uh, sort of spent a fair amount of time, a week and a half, inside a band of resistance that was channel resistance. I'll show the top of that in a moment, around 480 and change. But it was the sell signal below 74.7502 that indicated bearish continuation over the next week or two into the mid 450s. On the way down, we've got 460.78, may be in reach today. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, and then if we close below 460.78, that 454.25 formation, which remains a one to two week objective, is then likely to be tested. And that is really the start of a range of midterm support down to 451.27 that is rising daily, converging gradually and increasingly over the next couple of weeks, can absorb selling into possibly through February trade. And from there, the market can consolidate and even turn higher back into the 480s or higher in the weeks to follow. Let's take a look at the support and resistance for today. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have uh, minor intraday levels bracketing the market that most noteworthy of which are 468.27 upside and 464.45 downside. Both of them can firmly contain intraday activity and pushing through either of those levels should yield the next notable level within the day. So if we uh, push or open above 468.27, 472.32 is in reach today where the market can place a daily high. And if we close today above 472.32, we should within one to two days reach that 475.02 short-term channel bottom, where once again, we can place a weekly high and uh, fall back from there. This is where two weeks comes into play with regard to that 454.25 objective. Is it going to be this week or by the end of next week? And by the end of next week would be a settlement today above 472.32. That should result in short-term recovery to 475.02 where we could top out once again for the week and then fall back from there. Now, if we did close above 475.02 FYI, then we're just another day or two away from retesting that 480.20 channel top, which can still contain weekly buying pressures. I am a little suspicious of it on the next attempt. Uh, in that you can only test so many times before it gives way. It performed beautifully a week ago, a uh, week and change in containing the buying pressures. Um, and so uh, it is there uh, able to contain weekly buying pressures. Uh, and more notably, I think it's a pretty reliable upward pivot point into late January. So if by the end of the week, we were to test 480.72. It can contain buying through next week. But if we close above 480.20, then we should reach 490.96. Uh, that could be in as little as three to five days. It could take a couple of weeks because bear in mind that rising channel top, well, it is rising. So it's moving away from the market. In any event, closing above 480.20, I have a one to two week target up above in the 490s. 490.96 is preceded by that long-term trend line at 488.90. Both are rising. They'll be in the 490s later in the week, and they are able in combination to contain monthly buying pressure. So if we did test it over the next two to three weeks, it could contain buying through February trade. And from there, once again, as that trend line has performed since the September highs, uh, we could fall off once testing for a month or so before rechallenging. If, on the other hand, we were to close above 490.84 at the end of any day by a 1% margin, uh, then we have longer term bullish continuation, a more protracted steady rally into Q2. And I'll give you those 
uh, targets, of course, uh, as we, if we approach the upper 480s, low 490s. I'll leave you with the support and resistance. There's not much else to say here. We've got intraday levels, 464.45 below, 68 and 27 above. Both can firmly contain intraday trade. And if we push outside that region, once again, we should see the more emboldened levels within the day. Downside 460.78, where we could bottom out into midweek. And if we close below 460.78, we're just a few days away from testing that's still targeted 450. 127 to 54 in a quarter area. Inversely, if we close above 472.32, that 475.02 short-term channel bottom, likely within a day or two, where we can place a weekly high and below which the low to mid 450s remains a one to two week target. And that is really all I've got to say for today's Daily Spy Report. Please click like and subscribe. I appreciate both. I'll be back tomorrow for Tuesday's Daily Spy Report. You have a great day.